So, uh, so if anyone is not aware of what's going on, in um, so during the World Cup and after the World Cup, we all uh, knew that we we talked about this a whole ton about uh, the the Burhalter family and the Reyna family and how the, there was a back and forth. Uh, Greg Burhalter said some. He said you know there was a player that who was being difficult uh, at a World Cup. He said this at a conference. Uh, everybody essentially knew who he was talking about, even though he did not say his name. It led to. Um, the Reyna family calling uh, Ernie Stewart, the the former sporting director at, at, at U.S. Soccer, and was like, "Yo, I'm paraphrasing, but or not really, but <laughs> paraphrasing and basically like, yo, I got some dirt on Greg. You should not let him talk about my son like that. Blah blah blah." And it we we it, it turned out to be a story about. Uh, uh, domestic abuse and and it was it was clarified and the the you know the Burhalters were fighting with each other and t- it was an awful story um you know <laughs> but it, it's it, it's a but that was the re- reality of it uh Greg Burhalter uh came out with you know a statement and and every every so basically that's the, the story that happened uh um but then there was a, a an investigation mm-hmm. after that, and the the results of that independent investigation just came out, and they are bad, <laughs> very bad, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than what we thought. Um, so l- let's go real quick uh, into what uh, exactly happened. So there is a tweet thread. Um, from uh, Kyle uh, uh, Bonagura, Bonagura, I don't know how to pronounce the name, of uh, uh, ESPN, uh, and we'll just go through it line by line and just to try to make sense of uh, everything that was said. So uh, the first tweet says, the independent investigation into the Bro- Halter reign of feud and the 1992 domestic violence incident has been released. It mostly corroborates everything that has been reported while providing several specific examples of what was going on behind the scenes. Uh, and it continues, Claudio Reyna was unwilling to participate in the investigation. Danielle Reyna had two brief phone calls. They both made threats to U.S. soccer employees about releasing damaging information about Greg Berhalter, uh, Greg Berhalter's past during the World Cup. And uh, and continues, and it's a Claudio to the USMNT GM, Brian McBride, obviously USMNT legend. He says, you, don't, you guys don't even know uh, what we know about Greg. Uh, and then Danielle to an unnamed U.S. soccer employee says, once this tournament is over, I can make one phone call and give one interview and his cool sneakers and <laughs> bounce passes will be gone. And look, last time when we were reading some of these quotes uh, during the World Cup, we did it in a, a Jersey Mafia say, accent. accent. So I'm going to just do the same thing because <laughs> Danielle Reyna seems to be more uh, more connected than I assumed. Uh, but it, w- it went like this. It goes, once this tournament is over. <laughs> I can make one phone call and give one interview and his cool sneakers and bounce passes will be gone. <laughs> okay. So let's just let's just pause there so far. Um this is insane, right? This is it gets to a point where it look, we all know what the reason this all happened was because Gio Reyna did not play enough at the World Cup. And this is what it triggered. This is this is the series of events that happened simply because Greg Berhalter didn't say, all right, go mark Gareth Bale. Right. You know what I mean? He, he didn't bring him into the game. So when you were reading this and you read this, uh, these tweets and, and uh, from this report, what did you think, Eli, when you saw this? You know, it was just some basic Sunday AYSO family <laughs> drama. <laughs> no, I mean, what the heck? I mean, we saw the Oscars, you know, the lat- on Sunday, and the whale won. Well, we should have the soccer dad as, like, the next <laughs> grossing film. It would win we, everything. I think we need Will Smith to slap Claudia Reyna. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that the uh, we need to we need uh, okay Will Smith as Greg Berhalter would hit though. Wow. like I, that would be it great. doesn't need to be like you know it doesn't need to type okay, cast okay. just have Will Smith do it have Chris Rock be Claudia Reyna <laughs> and you've got yourself a motion picture <laughs> this is a a just just something that um uh, look there's no way that that the Reynas thought oh, no maybe they did but there's no way that they believed that this. I don't know if it, it, it seems like a like this is how things are done. 
we have to we for our son to be successful in U.S. soccer or for uh, for you know my son to be as successful as I was um, in the U.S. men's national team, I need to give him that extra push. I need to make sure I talk to everyone that could possibly stand in his way. I, it, it's just a it's a it, it's look it's it's not how things are done, right? It, but it also feels like extremely uh, nepo baby, just <laughs> yeah. fiercely like I'm gonna hurt somebody if you don't take care of my kid and give him some minutes. It just sucks because. He's good enough to where he doesn't need any of that nepotism to like go in his favor. And if anything, this is going to hurt his chances with the national team. I mean, who knows if Burhalter will be back? Most likely not. I think everyone kind of hopes right. not. But, you know, I, I like his sneakers and bounce passes. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm a Burhalter in guy. However, yeah, it just sucks because Reyna is too good for, for this type of drama. And I think U.S. soccer is moving past this type of thing. You know, we're, we're, we're more, more legit than we ever have been. And just frustrating to see this type of thing. And I said this immediately when Claudio Reyna first, um, when this drama first came yeah. out, Claudio Reyna should be banned from U.S. soccer. I don't care if he's a U.S. soccer legend. But yep. for this, I mean, they're, they're, it's inexcusable. And it's not something you could just come back from. Unlike maybe what happened with Berhalter in 92, where he was able to become a better person, work things out. He was very young. And obviously his wife and him are still great today if they were able to, right. to last this long and have so many kids. And they have their own Nepo babies. But <laughs> hey, Sebastian Berhalter, he, he's underrated. Um, but that's, okay, that's yeah, we'll get to, we'll get yeah. to that in a little bit. Some <laughs> underrated players in MLS. But okay, so this is, um, and I, it's a good point. And a lot of people have said this. I saw a tweet from Jimmy Conrad also mentioning. Um, he essentially said, like, look, this is what Claudio wanted. He wanted Greg Berhalter to be uh, to not be rehired uh, by by U.S. Soccer, and and said, I, I hope you're happy with what you got because this is th this was a retali retaliatory. Uh, um, uh, just attack on him for simply not playing his son at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. It's just, I mean, we know why, like the, the motive for why he did this. The more you say it out loud, just the more ridiculous it sounds because you, you've you brought uh, uh, just a level of embarrassment to your family. I just, mm -hmm. And it's, it sounds like, you know, brought the embarrassment to house Reina uh, or whatever, <laughs> but it, but it's that like absurd. And, and maybe this is just something to keep in mind that you, you are kind of, you're representing like Gio Reina is representing himself, but he's also representing his family with how, how mm -hmm. he carries himself and his parents should be mindful of that. That's all. I, so, there, so there was more uh, that came out of it and we'll, we'll, we'll go through some other tweets and, um, the uh, so uh, the next one says Claudio Arena interviewed for the USMNT GM job in 2019 and has a long history of trying to influence different aspects of uh, US of uh, the US Soccer Federation as it has related to Geo. An unnamed US Soccer employee uh, said, "Quote characterized Mr. Reina's historical outreach as quote inappropriate, bullying, and mean spirited." Um, and then it continues in an email in 2018. Uh, Claudio complained about a female referee in a match Gio played in, and, and he goes, and in all honesty, uh, can we get real uh, and have male refs for a game like this? This is It's embarrassing, guys. What are you trying to prove? A game like this deserves better attention, end quote. This is, now this is the one, you, you're not coming back from this, dog. No, um, that's just not acceptable at any level. I mean, come on. We don't need misogyny in the game right now. You're already a pretty bad dude. <laughs> yeah. And to now just straight up uh, hit hit up, uh, you know, uh, come through with the misogynist uh, takes, it's it's really, really bad. I mean, the, it, it's the the other, I mean, his the behavior in regards to his son and, and even being mad at Burhalter, there's... I think some people can kind of like, oh, I understand why he did it. Like, he's mad his son didn't get playing time. I, you know, maybe he has a bit of a temper. But this, to, to, to quote unquote protect your son to the degree that you're going to just straight up be misogynist and not, and, you know, you don't want a, a female referee because you think uh, that she's incapable of doing the job uh, as well as a man is. Is, is disgusting and then this is this is what truly at least for me takes it to the degree of like you're not working how, how are you going to work in this space again and then it's like who do you send this email to why are we <laughs> hearing about this now like it, it, it's just another uh feeling of like if if this is you know th there's the constant 
you know, the, the, the ad campaigns of, you know, say no to racism. Uh, 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 it's, it's Women's History Month <laughs> at the moment. Uh, not good timing for this. No. To come out. But but if if people are thinking like this in U.S. soccer right now, then then it's just like yo, we need to get them out of there. Yeah, like I said, I I don't care how big of a legend you were. I don't care what your influence is in U.S. soccer because you know at the time of that interview or that email, and now he he's still a big like figurehead in MLS with yeah. Austin FC. He was with NYC. I mean. This is just absolute ridiculous. And I also went as far as saying he should be kicked out of the National Soccer Hall of Fame for something wow, like this. Okay. Um, that's that's my hot take. If you guys want my <laughs> Alexis <laughs> level take, you know, I can't do the the the, ner- the North Jersey accent, but I want I need a cutscene now of Burhalter to 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 rain on an alleyway being like, I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought we were friends, Claudio. 